Oh, crap. No, this is not a mukbang. Hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing and testing the remarkable Marc Jacobs Instant Full Coverage Foundation. I also picked up their major minis from Marc Jacobs that includes everything from lip gloss, mascara, and eyeliner. I'm over 50 years old and I love makeup and skincare and I can't wait to share these products with you. We're gonna do an all day wear test, we're gonna swatch it, we're gonna see how it performs on my mature skin and I will give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. <music> Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. I would love it if you could be a part of my family. And don't forget to hit that little notification button so you don't miss an upload. Okay, it seems like it's been a hot minute since I've reviewed a foundation, but when this came across my radar, I couldn't wait to test it out for you. Marc Jacobs, to me, is bougie. I've seen his makeup, I've seen his designs, and I couldn't wait to test out this full coverage foundation. Now being over 50 years old and having hyperpigmentation, fine lines, wrinkles, redness, I thought what a perfect time to test out their foundation. Now it comes in 22 shades. It retails for I believe $56, but I got this for 60% off the Marc Jacobs website. Holy moly, this is so beautiful. Now I got the shade Ivory, shade 12. And what's interesting about this foundation is you only use a very tiny bit because it's supposed to be full coverage. Now, as you can see, I have zero makeup on except for my eyebrows. And in the major mini package that I purchased, it comes with primer and I couldn't wait to test out their primer. To be fair, I'm gonna go ahead and do one side of my face with my Holy Grail, which is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right through here and I'm gonna do it on the left side of my face and all I'm gonna do is just press it into my most porous areas so to give this foundation a fair shake. And I'm going to go in with Marc Jacobs Undercover Coconut Primer. I haven't even opened it up but isn't this cute? It's so adorable. It's like a tiny little mini sample. So through here. Now it kind of smells a little bit like pineapple, not so much and I'm gonna go ahead on the right side of my face and ooh, it smells very fresh and clean. And I'm just gonna press it in. Now the directions do say that you're supposed to apply it all over your face. So that's basically what I'm gonna do. Typically I apply my foundation with a beauty sponge, but these directions were specific. They said apply with one of their Marc Jacobs brushes, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. That is my ride or die brush for applying foundation, but this feels pretty good. It feels very moisturizing. Now this foundation is a matte finish. You know I like to be glowy, so maybe this primer will give me a little bit of glow, but it'll be interesting to see the difference between my left side of my face as compared to my right side. Now it comes in a beautiful frosted glass and then a black opener. I haven't even opened it up. How do you do this? Oh, here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. And I heard the applicator was like a tiny little dot and you're supposed to put it on the back of your hand. Oh, look at that. It's not quite a medicine dropper, but let's put a tiny drop on my hand. Oh my God, that's too tiny. What are you talking about? Um, hello. Okay, that's totes strange. Am I doing this right? <laughs> It says less is more. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. A little bit goes a long way. So let's see if Ivy is comparable to my skin shade. That might work. Now, I believe Ivory is very fair with yellow undertones. So let's check out the specs on the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Patented golden pigments are wrapped in lecithin, an ingredient that is biochemically similar to skin for immediate effortless blending and a smooth, soft, matte finish. This innovative dot applicator allows for buildable custom coverage. Simply shake, dot, and blend for perfection. So unprecedented, it's remarkable. <laughs> Full coverage foundation and a dot dot applicator ensures the perfect amount. Jojoba, sunflower, and acai and mimosa extracts improve blendability. And of course that patented golden stuff. So uh, let's shut up and just go on with the foundation, please. Ooh, okay. This is really opaque. It doesn't really smell. And I'm just gonna go in with my Kabuki brush and I'm gonna start blending and see how it works. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. 
They say full coverage. Oh my goodness, I think the shade is really good for my skin tone. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go in to the Touch and Souls primer side. I love doing foundation reviews in case you can't tell. Absolutely love doing foundation reviews because to me, foundation is so key in having a beautiful makeup look. It sets your face, it sets the entire canvas. And I seriously did not put that much on. You saw, I just used a couple of drops. Let's try just adding a little bit more on my hyperpigmentation. I'm really gonna go for that flawless look today. This medicine dropper, I just can't get over it. It's not even a medicine dropper, it's just like a dot applicator. I'm just gonna go back over these parts right through here. Maybe a little bit more on my forehead. And I'm just blending it in. Wow, this looks good. Let's go in with concealer and see how it plays. The Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer, you know, that's my favorite. I mean, if we're gonna go full coverage, we might as well go in with a full coverage concealer. I'm just gonna put just a little bit through here. Since this foundation is very full coverage, I would say not completely full coverage. I would say medium, like a really good medium coverage, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this in. Okay, foundation concealer on. Okay, now as you know, I did put a little bit extra through here to cover up my hyperpigmentation. Since it's boasting full coverage, I wouldn't call it full coverage, I would say really high medium coverage at best. I mean, I do have hyperpigmentation and red spots and fine lines. I'm just concerned since it's such a full coverage foundation that'll settle into my fine lines. But so far it's playing very nicely. My main concern is through here. I get foundation settling in through here. What I'm gonna do next is go ahead and apply bronzer, blusher, and then we're gonna get to the major minis of the Marc Jacobs. Okay. Not so final look, you guys. Okay, for eyes, I went in with the Charlotte Tilbury Super Blue Eyeshadow Quad. I absolutely have been loving on this quad because it has neutral colors as well as beautiful blue colors that can smoke out your eye perfectly without looking overdone, but absolutely love it. And then for cheeks, I went in with Holika Holika Apricot Jelly Cream Blusher. For contour, I just went in with the Too Faced Tutti Frutti Pineapple, and then we need mascara. Now in the Marc Jacobs Major Minis, you do get a mini size mascara. It is called the Velvet Noir Major Mascara. And this is actually a pretty good size mini. I have been loving the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, so I'm excited to test this particular mascara out. Um, okay. It feels a little dry and crusty. Maybe we need just more. Mm. This mascara is not bad at all. Not clumpy whatsoever, and I do like the applicator. Wow. Okay, so mascara is on. Now let's go for lipstick. In the Major Minis, you do get a mini lipstick, and it's called Slow Burn. What attracted me to getting the Major Minis is the lipstick because I knew it was a neutral tone, and I thought, well, you get mascara and eyeliner thrown in, so let's go ahead and see what this looks like through here. Now that looks like the perfect nude shade with a little hint of rose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. I love the shade. It is the perfect nude for my skin tone. You also get a tiny little high shine lacquer lip gloss in Sugar Sugar. This shade right on top of the lipstick. This smells so good. Oh my gosh. Almost smells like candy. Like, oh, like peppermint. Yes. Oh my God. So cute. You also get a gel eyeliner and you also get a regular eyeliner. This one's brown. This one's black. These highlighter drops. I don't know about this, but let's swatch it and see what it looks like. Ooh, that's super shiny. Can you see that? Ooh, 
look at that. Should we try some on? Oh, I already have a little bit of highlighter, but I'm just gonna tap some on right through here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, my Lanta. This is really nice. Beautiful. Oh, that's stunning. Just the right amount of glow without looking sparkly. I like this. Oh my God. And you would not believe how much I got this entire package for. The seven major minis, $20. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Okay. But we are talking about the remarkable instant full coverage foundation. So here we are. Oh, I went kind of highlighter crazy, but this is so, this is so pretty. I'm really digging this look that I threw together. The foundation is super comfortable. It's light. Like I said, I don't think it's full coverage. At best, it's high to medium coverage, but we are gonna go out in natural daylight and see exactly what we're dealing with because you know, it may look all pretty with the lights in here, but then it could look all janked up when I go outside. So let's go outside and let's take a look. Okay. Okay, here we are in natural daylight. So what do you think, guys? I think it looks pretty good. I'm just leery about this one side of my face. I'm afraid since it's full coverage, it might sink into these fine lines right through here, as well as up in my forehead. Now, I did finish powdering it off with the Shiseido Synchro Self Refreshing Foundation Powder. Absolutely love that stuff. It just sets all my makeup in place, particularly around this area through here, as well as my under eye concealer. But yeah, it is a gorgeous but chilly day here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I have big plans today. I'm gonna stay home. <laughs> Just gonna stay home. Actually, I'm gonna do some planting. I got some flowers to plant and I mean, I'll get some fresh air and like I said, gorgeous day, but yes, I will do some check-ins and let you know how this remarkable foundation is hanging in there. Okay. Ooh, as far as the foundation goes, I think it looks pretty good, but it is kind of settling into this fine line here. With a full coverage foundation, it is gonna tend to look slightly cakey. It's actually looking better on this side than it is on that side. Maybe I should do a facial. Salut, it's time to cook. It is exactly 8.12 p.m. It's been over eight hours since I first applied the remarkable Marc Jacobs foundation. And I have to tell you, I am super impressed. You saw me getting a steam bath making shumai. Oh my goodness, this foundation was super comfortable all day long. I did not do any touch-ups and it has not budged. Now, it claims to be full coverage. As you could see earlier, I did have to apply a little bit more on my hyperpigmentation, but really this is a beautiful foundation. And as far as the major minis, getting seven sample size products to test out, oh my goodness. Okay, let's start with the coconut primer. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of it. I do prefer my Touch and Soul No Pore Bone Primer because I think this side of the foundation looks so much more smooth and so much more blurred, but it is a silicone based primer. This one is not. If you are young and you have pretty much flawless skin, I think you would really like this primer. It's super light, super comfortable, smells fantastic, and it does have skin loving ingredients. But for my more mature friends, this foundation would definitely work better with a silicone based primer, but that's just my opinion. And then the Dew Drop Highlighter, oh my goodness, this is stunning. It's the type of highlighter that I am actually really enjoying because it is a cream base and it doesn't have like that actual glitter in it. It provides such a beautiful sheen and all I did was just dab it on the high points of my cheekbones and it doesn't add any extra texture. It's just beautiful. It just has that natural glow. Absolutely loving their High Shine Lip Gloss as well as their mini lipstick. I think these colors are a beautiful natural nude. And the mascara was actually really good. Now, do I prefer it to my Thrive Cosmetics mascara? I think they're about par. I really love the mascara as well because 
I love the applicator. It held curl very well. And look at my eyelashes. Hello. Would I recommend the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation? If full coverage foundation is your cup of tea, I think you're really going to like this. Now it does retail for $56, but I got it for $28. Literally that was 60% off. Is that right, math? Yes. And remember, you only use a tiny bit, so this is going to last you a long time. Now remember, it doesn't come out in your traditional pump or your traditional doe foot. It comes in a very odd dot applicator. Use it sparingly, and it also does recommend that you apply it with a brush. I'm not sure how it would apply with a sponge, but since it's so concentrated and so pigment, I think the brush is gonna offer a smoother application. And I just use my F80 Kabuki brush from Sigma. So leave a comment down below if you're looking for a full coverage foundation. And if so, what are you currently using right now? I'm dying to know. I hope you enjoyed this review of all these little goodies that I got from Marc Jacobs. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you would be a part of my family. And for more reviews on makeup and skincare, check out these videos up here. But for now, stay safe, stay healthy. Mahal kita. I love you. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.